Tomo News presents Cats Do the Darndest Things. Meow. Meow. Family's giant cat turns violent, forcing them to call 911. You're looking at the face of pure evil. This giant beast of a cat is a 22 pound Himalayan named Lux, and Lux has a history of violence. And events at the home of Lee Palmer and his wife on Tuesday night sent it over the edge. It was around 8 pm and the couple were in their apartment with their seven month old baby. Something happened and the cat struck out, clawing the child's face. Lee Palmer then made a big mistake and kicked the cat in the butt to shoo it away from his kid. Lux went berserk and switched into kill mode. The family ran for the nearest bedroom and barricaded themselves behind the door while Lux waited for them to emerge to exact his revenge. What follows is the actual 911 emergency call made by Lee Palmer while trapped in the room. Yeah, hi, I have a kind of a particular emergency here. Um, my cat attacked a seven month old child and I kicked the cat in the rear and it has went off over the edge and we um, aren't safe around the cat. It's a very large Himalayan and we're trapped in our bedroom. He won't let us out of our door. But the cat, we don't know what to do about the cat. He's gone, well, he's trying to attack us. He's very, 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 very hostile. So I tried to get a hold of animal control. Hang on just a second. You guys are inside your bedroom right now. Yeah, yeah. And if I, when I leave out the bedroom to let the police in, I'm going to have to fight this cat. Hang on just a second. I mean, you said the cat is large. How large? Uh, 22 pounds, maybe. Ever heard of a service cat? No? Then you get sprayed! A man in Seattle's First Hill neighborhood has taken trolling the local McDonald's to a new level. He showed up around noon on Thursday with his service cat in tow. You heard me. The man, we'll call him Troublemaker, has been banned from that particular franchise. After approaching the counter, he's confronted by an irate Mickey D's employee. But Troublemaker had one more trick up his sleeve. An industrial-sized can of pepper spray! At this point, he decided to use his service cat like an attack dog and a fight broke out. Troublemaker sprayed pepper juice wildly, and there was enough for everybody. Even a stander by who just wanted some nuggets. Hope he likes them spicy. In the end, police came and treated two people for eye irritation. But in an apparent case of, I can't deal with this today, they didn't arrest anybody and Troublemaker was free to go home with his service cat. Three-legged kitten becomes girl amputee's best friend. Scarlett, a two-year-old girl from California, was diagnosed with lipofibromatosis and a vague diagnosis of sarcoma when she was only 10 months old. Doctors said she was an incredibly rare medical case, and for her to survive, they had to amputate her left arm. To help Scarlett recover from the trauma of surgery and cancer, her parents gifted her with a kitten named Holly after her operation. They specifically looked for a pet with whom Scarlett could establish a special bond. Like Scarlett, Holly has also lost a limb. Her left front leg was amputated after she was found bleeding from a traumatic injury in December. And the toddler and kitten immediately developed a deep friendship. According to her mom, Scarlett recognizes that the cat has similar struggles as she does. Her mother said, She's only two, but I think she really understood and it clicked with her that the cat was just like her. Paging Dr. Doolittle, cats in Thailand have a long conversation.
This sit-ups loving cat is a lot more fit than you are. Feral cats overrun remote island in southern Japan. This is Aoshima Island, a tiny fishing village off Japan's coast. Only 22 people live here officially, but it's also home to more than 120 cats. Even before it entered into the Heisei era, the population had already fallen below 100. So after that, it slowly became just an island of elderly and cats. The remote island has no stores, no hotels. A ferry that runs twice a day is the only connection to the mainland and the only way for cat-loving tourists to make their way to the island. I came here looking to relax and as for how it is, well, there's a ton of cats here. Then there was a sort of cat witch who came out to feed the cat, which was quite fun. So I'd want to come again. The felines were first brought here to deal with mice that plagued the fishing boats. They've since multiplied, and swarms of cats roam the island. Only 34 visitors can come to the island per day. That's the capacity of the ferry. And even with the tourists, the human population is still a minority on Cat Island. Cops Laser Guides Kitty to Safety Curiosity saved the cat after this little kitty was discovered stuck up a tree by Nebraska police officers. Officers from the La Vista Police Department found the cat perched precariously about 20 feet above a creek on March 16th. Using the laser beam on his taser, one of the officers was able to guide the kitty out of the tree and avoid a catastrophe. Officers attributed the successful rescue to the cat's natural inquisitiveness in following the laser beam. The cat was taken to the local Humane Society and adopted a few days later. He's now believed to be feline good. Police said they'd have to file paperwork for using the taser, and they jokingly added that charges were pending against the cat for scratching an officer. Kuyugi Cat is the latest angry cat sensation. A new feline has reared her angry face, but is she a match for the most annoyed cat on the internet? Hailing from Yokohama, Japan, Kuyugi is a nine-year-old Scottish fold whose death stare is just as good as Grumpy Cat's resting bitch face. Thanks to her permanently furled brow, Kuyuki has charmed the internet with her angry face, gaining over 44,000 Twitter followers and almost 37,000 Instagram loyalists. Kuyuki's owner insists she's not angry or upset. But is this cat throwing shade at the world's most beloved annoyed feline? Grumpy Cat is a fan of not being a fan of cat homes. Kuyuki is too. Grumpy Cat hates boxes. Kuyuki despises them. Kuyuki recently appeared in a comic book. Grumpy Cat has her own series, and a whole lot of swag. She met as her own Hollywood star, because, of course, she filmed her own movie. Kuyuki is cute and all, in that angry, leave me alone so we can't get enough of you cat kind of way. But it's a Grumpy Cat nation. Nay, world. No, universe. Those are just some big paw prints to fill for one little kitty. Cat saves hot owner by warning her. Your ex-boyfriend's hiding in the closet. What is the situation here? Why is this crazy ex-boyfriend hiding inside this woman's closet? He probably wanted to kill me. I don't know why he broke into my house. His name is Hong Yi Xiang, and he's an analyst for Goldman Sachs Group. He has a key card. <laughs> so he can enter the front gate, but cannot go into your apartment? No, he can't, because I just changed the lock on my door. I went back home with my friend just after 3 on Sunday afternoon, and we watched TV together. 
I noticed my cat scratching and hissing at my closet angrily. I opened the closet door and found my ex-boyfriend hiding inside. He ran off while my friend and I were screaming in shock. Oh my god. I asked him if he took any of my things. He said no and then threw this key card at me. Not until yesterday did I know that he'd been breaking into my house recently. My neighbor even bumped into my ex-boyfriend in the lobby two weeks ago. He fell in love with someone else three months ago, and it was he who wanted to break up with me. I bless him. I'm guessing the relationship with that new girlfriend didn't go so well, and that's why he came back to try getting with me again. The woman, whose name is Huang, filed a lawsuit against the suspect and, of course, changed the locks a second time. Well done, kitty. Cat riding on a hood, badass celeb, or animal cruelty victim. An Ohio woman snapped these pictures on Sunday of a feline riding the hood of a Buick through downtown New Philadelphia in Ohio. Polly Vandal's cell phone evidence became an overnight internet sensation and spurred heated debates about whether the still unidentified couple, complete with matching sweaters, ought to face punishment. The events leading up to the picture are still unknown. Maybe the victim in question had been a bad kitty, or maybe the couple just wanted to one-up Cadillac hood ornaments. Whatever their reason, they ended up tying their leashed cat to the hood of their car and driving through the small Ohio town, turning heads and distracting drivers as they went. Polly snapped a picture, shared it on Facebook, and because Americans have our priorities straight, the photo went viral. Some viewers didn't find the pictures funny at all and called up the Humane Society or denounced the couple as cruel on social media. The police station also received calls from angry animal lovers as far away as Florida demanding justice for the decorative pet. Cats out of the box after surviving harrowing eight-day journey sealed inside. Along with the Hope Diamond, Potatoes, and Bricks, one cat from England named Cupcake can now join the ranks of weird things that have been mailed. The Siamese became trapped inside the small box when her owner didn't spot the cat snoozing in the box when she packed DVDs for a customer. Sealed inside the box, Cupcake traveled a total of 260 miles from Falmouth in southwest England to Wellington, West Sussex on the other side of the country. The package's recipients got quite the surprise when they opened up the box and out came Cupcake. Scared, nervous, dehydrated, but alive. The recipients then contacted the RSPCA, who took the cat to the local veterinary hospital for a health check. There, Cupcake was identified via her microchip. Thankfully, this story has a happy ending, as Cupcake was reunited with her relieved owner earlier this week. How no one noticed that she snuck into the box in the first place, uh, no one knows. Mosque opens doors to stray cats. Holy cats! Iman Mustafa Effie is a perfect example of how to love all creatures. He's opened the doors of the Aziz Mahmoud Hudaya Mosque in Istanbul to the stray cats of the city, who are pretty darn cold this time of year. Now get this, the felines are even welcome during prayer time. Here you can see a mama cat bringing her kittens in from the cold. Up the stairs we go. Now that's what I call making yourself at home. Istanbulians are known for their love of cats, which were bred to eradicate rats and mice from the city. They even have a saying which goes, if you've killed a cat, you need to build a mosque to be forgiven by God. Well, I think most people would agree that opening the doors of a mosque is a lot easier than building a new one. Pussy lovers from around the globe have praised Iman Mustafa Effie's efforts, which have now gone viral. Donald Trump has yet to release a statement on whether he'd ban the cats from entering the United States. Cute cats go on a fishing trip. Cat learns to relieve itself just like a human.
boy in the dogs. He's a clever boy. He's a clever boy. Yes, yes, yes. Good boy. Yeah. Blind stray cat rocks funny bow ties after being rescued from the street. This four-year-old ginger cat used to wander the dark alleys of South Philly, barely able to see due to microphthalmia, a pre-birth condition which results in small eyeballs. It's for this reason that along the way he was given the name Mr. Magoo. You remember Mr. Magoo, don't you? Taken off the streets in 2013, Animal Control put Mr. Magoo on the kill list because they ran out of room in their shelter. Not only that, but the cat had also developed an infection that had him suffering from nosebleeds and ulcers in his mouth. On death's door in more ways than one, a Facebook post by the Blind Cat Rescue and Sanctuary caught the attention of a couple who were moved by his harrowing tail, and soon the squinty-eyed kitty had found a family to call his own. Ever since, luck has arrived. Mr. Magoo's got a comfy home to hang around in, and his story was so dramatic, a book series was written about his life. After reaching that first rung of fame, lately he's been drawing plenty of attention on Instagram for his kooky fashion sense. He may look like he gets dressed in the dark, but cut him some slack. He can barely see. No matter what he's wearing, after everything he's endured, he's probably earned the right to live the rest of his nine lives unapologetically, wouldn't you say? Stay cool, kitty cat. You're an inspiration to us all. Two cats swam to safety after the engine of their owner's tuna boat exploded off the coast of Oregon. Mark and Cynthia Schneider were fishing 80 miles off the coast when an explosion blew off the back section of the boat. After being rescued by a boat nearby, they spotted the felines and began calling out to them. One trapped on the bow leapt into the water and swam to safety. Both cats were rescued. The couple say they lost some $40,000 worth of tuna in the accident.